Hi everyone. Um, a week or so ago, uh, Jeff and I took time to go to a um, estate sale that had been. Oh, the email I got said that it was there was just loads and loads of sewing and crafting and scrapbooking and all that kind of supply stuff. Well. If there was scrapbooking stuff, I missed it. And that's fine. I don't go till Saturday when she does the half-off stuff because the prices at estate sales are too high. So if I missed it, I missed it. Besides the fact that it's more about the fun of going. It's a, it's a, it's a fun thing for us. I don't need anything. So the, cra the estate sale wasn't all that great. But I did pick up a few things. Um... There was this package of doilies, um, and I use these quite a bit, and this is a good size to make um, things on pages, uh, pockets, that kind of thing. So I, I got those, and I do not need yarn, but these were two sort of different kinds of yarns that um, I don't have anything really like, and I really liked this suede one, this tan suede one. I thought that might be nice to um, put tie signatures in something. So I picked that up. Um, I can't remember how much they were. I think they were a dollar. So um, then this one, and I have some other like this, but it's not small. Uh, this one is, can you see that? It's it's like two little strands and then a, um, a a solid piece, so it's not actually solid. Um, and I thought it would be fun. And I thought also Lisa's been doing some weavings, and I thought these are small and flat, but they might be fun in a weaving. So I I picked those up. And then apparently this person had. A lot of cookbooks and the cookbooks were 50 cents a piece I think and uh, Lisa and I have been talking about doing a cookbook type journal something and this this actual cookbook uh, makes me think of my mother's cookbook and the past um, this is what I remember growing up on and using so um, that was kind of fun to find it for that kind of price. And it, it's it got stuff shoved in it. Different things that she's attached in there. But I really liked the age of it. I liked the fact that it had the um, tab things in it. So um, I picked that one up. And then this one just said, yeah, it's old. Okay, a lot of these brands are probably not. Well, the brand might still be there because Pillsbury McCormick Smuckers, they're all still around. But I have not ever seen this Hunt's Prima Salsa that I remember I would have to hunt. But I really liked the color of the pages. And there again, there's all kinds of little odds and ends she's stuffed into here. You know, from magazines where she pulled out um, cookbooks. Um, she had so many cookbooks that I seriously doubt she could have ever gotten through the whole, um, the, the, made all the recipes in them. No way. Um, let's get these out of the way. So that was the estate sale. And then because we really weren't there very long, we decided to hit... Uh, a few garage sales which were very unproductive and then we went to um, a thrift store or two um, I got to this package of napkins because I thought they were really cute they had several um, packages of napkins but they were they were more expensive than this package but more importantly, they just didn't seem to make me think I would use them. And I have napkins. So I've gotten a lot pickier when I buy stuff. 
Then they had this. Um, now this is glitter poster board, I guess is what it is. I thought we'd pull it out and see what it looks like. And I really didn't need a poster board or glitter paper. I've got I've got a package of glitter paper, but there's uh, several. There's a couple of colors in here. There's oh, there's a piece of white poster board, but there's gold and then there's silver. I guess there's just two. Hmm. Okay, there. there's two pieces of, I didn't read it carefully, I thought the white and the black were glitter as well, but their white and black are just regular poster board sheets. It's not a problem, that is really not why I bought it. I bought it because of what's on the back of the package. Let me get this slid back in there. Um, there is a giant stencil in here. Um, it's just poster board weight, but it will work really well once you get some paint on it, um, on the jelly plate. And I loved these numbers and it has some nice shapes in it and I'm going to cut it to, to make, make it more usable for me because this is way too big to, to really function. But, um, I thought that the the stencil and I just love the numbers in it um, so I figured the glitter paper was and the poster board was just a a plus to get the stencil so get that and after not finding much at the, the yard sales and not finding much at the thrift store I had seen online that um, this place that's uh, near us, it's called Maker's Loft, I think. Um, they had uh, somebody stuff in on consignment, and they had steel rule dies. And you guys know I really like steel rule dies, and while you cannot see um, the what they are very well, I'll just tell you what they are. This is a whole alphabet set, and the alphabet is about two inches, two and a half inches. So there's only four letters per die, and I wasn't going to get these. I was only going to get a couple um, of the dies, and then she offered me a really good deal for the whole box. So I took the whole box. Um this is a couple of tags and um it's got a a little ruffled tag at the top and then it's got a tag that folds and tucks into itself um i wish there was a way to show you these better but there isn't this one's butterflies and they're very simplified butterflies but they will be this will be used a lot this one you can see is a nice big flower which again, you guys know I'll use a lot. Um, also, I think um, I can cut with like with this. I could cut some stencils for the jelly plate, which will be fun. Um, this is a set of three snowflakes. Oops. Um, then this one is. Uh, and you can tell I, I I got some stuff I probably won't use a lot, but this is this is a scalloped circle, and I have an idea for that one already, so I'm really excited about that one. Uh, this is a pillow box, and it's small, and I probably won't use it much, but this is just some circles, and I may already have circles this size, but I have to check. Um, this one is a giant snowflake. And this is daisies. Can you even see that that's... Da yeah, you can see the daisies on that one. Oh, maybe if I hold them up here, you could see them. Sort of. Anyways, I, I was real excited by those. I'm going to tell you that there's like six more. Um, 
this is a milk carton uh, some kind of uh, another pillow box. This is banners, but it's got some little circular doilies in it, which is uh, might be fun. Um, okay, this one. Okay, did those have? No. This one actually has the little outside paper to go with it, and it's a, a gift bow. Uh, I doubt I will use that a lot, but like I said, she gave me a deal on the whole box. Um, this one is a Christmas stocking. And this one, maybe we can see this one. This one is really cool. This one um, is flowers. It's just a bunch of different flowers. And I imagine you can layer this. That's the plan with it. Um, but that was the dies and the box of dies I got. Then there were punches, and believe me, I was being very conservative because I had already spent more money than I intended to by buying this box of steel rule dies. But you guys know that steel rule dies, while they're big and bulky, they will cut through um, tag board, the, the heavier cardboard. So you can you can do things with the steel rule dies that you cannot do with the thin lit dies. The thin lit dies just will not cut through heavy tag board, and these will. So um, I already have some ideas of the way I want to use some of the letters and the snowflakes. So I was really kind of excited about that. Um, then there was a lot of stamps, and I did not buy a bunch of stamps because you guys know I have stamps. But I was give, I wanted to get this punch, and this is a Stampin' Up set where the punch, um, this this stamp set and the punch match up together. So the stamp is made where you can punch out your little flowers after you've stamped it. So I did get that set um, because I like that little flower, and you guys know I use a lot of flowers. Then, of course, I was going to get this leaf. Uh, I don't have any bigger leaves like that, so the bigger leaf was made me happy. And then this is an oak leaf, and I was real excited to get that one. Oh, here's another die. Um, I probably won't use that one, but it was in the box, and like I said, she gave me a a deal on the box so uh, this flower which uh, I didn't have one this size so I'm excited about that I love this kind of little punches that uh, function and then I got this one and I really like this one this is a bird and its wing and a branch so um, I was really excited to get these things and um, like I said, I was going to get like three of these steel rule dies when she told me what the whole box would be. I promise you, I spent less money than if I'd have gone out and bought those three steel rule dies somewhere else. So um, this was uh, my little haul from our shopping extravaganza. And I really wanted to show it to you. And... Uh, I have ideas for things. I just have not had time to do much of anything. So I am going to hopefully start getting back to making videos and um, playing with my art and doing that kind of thing. Got to catch up on making beads first. But for now, I hope you guys go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.